in May last year, I was cruising down the interstate, and I knew that I needed to start something different than the distracted driving work that I did. I didn't need to quit doing that, but I needed to do something different. I needed to do something because when I was cruising down the road in New Mexico, I could see behind me in my rearview mirror there was a truck that was weaving all over the road. He was obviously coming up on me very fast. And so I was concerned. He pulled up next to me, or he, I should say he's passing me on the interstate. And I looked over and I, I honked my horn at him and told him, hey, I could see what you're doing. I can, I, I'm asking you to pay attention. And graciously, he told me that I was number one with his finger. And um, I said, yes, thank you. I think I'm pretty great too. And off he went speeding and weaving all over the road. Minutes later, as I was cruising down Interstate 40, a state trooper went flying past me, lights and sirens. And then moments later, I would see an ambulance entering the freeway just ahead of me. And then all of a sudden, I'm coming up over this hill, and there's traffic, and it's going slow, and everybody's brakes are on, and all these things are happening. And so I, I get through, and I weave through the traffic, and I would find out that I would see this pickup truck in the ditch. It had rolled, obviously, several times. And I thought to myself, what that guy needed was a paradigm shift. The ambulance was not jumping into action. The state trooper was taking photographs, and what that means is he didn't live. I would look it up later, and it's true, he did not live. They were taking pictures of the scene. They weren't even trying to extract him yet. See, I'd, I'd had conversations with people like him. I was like him. I thought that the same rules didn't apply to me, that th there's just things that I see as I am, right? I don't see the reality of it. I'm looking at the world, I'm looking at things through my own personal lens instead of reality, and that was him. See, he was hugging his steering wheel as he passed me with his phone in his hand. I'd had those conversations many times. And what I realized was that paradigm shift had to start with something different. It had to start with being better people.